Hi, this is Cami from Torch, and today I'm going to show you how to create this card flip animation as part of our how-to series from our recent travel project. I've copied all the elements from the original scene into a new project so we can focus on the interaction. The cards on the right are already set up, but the one on the left is not. And you may even notice that the final state of these interactions looks a lot like the state of the one that isn't set up yet. But let's just verify by jumping into the interactions on one of the setup cards and seeing how it compares. Just as we suspected, they look pretty similar, but the card is flipped upside down. So let's jump into the interaction on the card that we're gonna change and get it set up. But first, I left an old interaction in there that I made by mistake so I could show you how to delete it. We're gonna swipe it left and hit delete. Perfect. Now we're going to add our own select interaction and target the floor plans model. This is where we will define what we want the end state of the model to be when the interaction is over. I'm not changing any values here because I'm actually just capturing the end state and by using absolute, I can do that without changing anything else. Note that I added position, scale, and visibility to the interaction. And now we've set up the end state of the interaction. So let's start setting up the starting state. The first thing I want to change about this model is the scale. So in our scale value, the Y value specifically, we're going to change it to 0.1 by directly typing it in. That way it can grow and it'll also be small enough to hide within the card. I'm also going to toggle off the visibility just in case. And then I'm going to freeform lower it into the card with my two fingers and do a quick test. Yep, this looks great, but let's just compare it. Flip this one over. And we can see the model looks the same. Great, so we can move on to the card flip. We just need to jump back into the interaction on our card so we can tell it to put itself in the right position when you select it. To this, we'll enter our card's properties within the interaction and open up the rotation settings. I'm going to select absolute again and change the X value to negative 90 and flip it around. Awesome. Now the card state is in the correct orientation and will match the other two cards. So let's jump back out and test it. First the other ones. Awesome. And then ours. Okay, so they both end the same way, which is great, but as you may have noticed, they don't start the same way. That's because the two on the right receive an enter scene trigger from an enter scene interaction. So let's add our card to that interaction as well and receive that trigger. In the scene menu, open up your interactions and open up the existing one. And we're gonna add our card and jump into the rotation properties again. Next, we're gonna select absolute again and change our X value to zero. That looks right to me, but let's head back over to play mode and see how they do. Oh, awesome. They are all in the same spot, but let's see how our cards act when we select it. I'll tap this, okay. Then the other ones. With the ones that were already set up, the model doesn't rise until after the flip. So let's make ours do the same thing. We're gonna open up our cards interaction and select edit curves so we can add a delay. If we scroll down, we know that our card is flipping in 0.5 seconds. So we just need to tell our model to have a delay of 0.5 seconds and then grow. That should make everything work pretty smoothly. But of course, we're gonna test it. Play mode, tapping it. Oh, yes, perfect. Just like the other ones. So great, now you know how to create card flip animations by combining enter scene and select interactions. Stay tuned for next time when I teach you about using a scene exclusively for animation by walking you through our tabletop room view transition. That's all for now. Be sure to use hashtag built with torch when you build your own projects. Thanks. Bye.